Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. AppleAndApps.com here, and we're checking out OS X 10.10 Yosemite, which you can see half dome background in place, and an all new kind of look and feel, which is the major functionality. So we'll just let that sink in right now. Just kind of the new style. These new app icons have a kind of pseudo iOS 7 theme, but not completely. And even this cute little Finder guy. And then when you open up Finder, you can see that we got the new kind of translucency and the way the menu shows just the sidebars. It is more noticeable when you bring up a few different apps. And then let's open up Safari. It has a new look too. You can see big bright boldness at the top. A single menu bar. Let's go to appleandapps.com scrolling it through and you see this menu bar really stays succinctly at the top and then Apple talking about Yosemite it's Yosemite within Yosemite and you see this new tab view as well as your iCloud tabs and then a big new thing is these little guys up here your little close buttons which are very iconic and now they have this new flat feel and then you go straight up into the menu bar and you see there's a new system font, which is the first time Apple's changed that in quite a, since 2001, I think. And then again, like I said, the new icons. And then this is a lot more streamlined when you're looking at Launchpad and notifi er, yeah, just Launchpad, Mission Control. And then I did want to mention Notification Center. You can see it right here. It now uses the translucency, which you see elsewhere, and has a similar tab view as iOS 8 so this today view you see we can add in a couple different widgets so let's do that and then you see there's a quick function to go straight to the app store so as developers update their apps to have no or to have widget notifications that should be quite helpful you got calculator right now world clock you'll have weather or down here so more and more is going to be able to be added to that so it gives greater functionality to the notification center and then if you open up system preferences you can see there's all new design here as well just in the way Apple's kinda loading the different icons and just changing the theme subtly launch pads kinda similar and it's just mainly about the new kind of design style is the big thing but then notification functionality is also pretty important and then spotlight it now comes up full screen when you tap in the upper right and you can search for things like Yosemite so you, it brings up Wikipedia articles or messages or even straight into maps so I mean that's pretty deluxe as well and then the biggest functionality though is the inclusion of of it's called handoff which is part of their continuity system where essentially you could be working in pages right here on your Mac and then pick up right on your iPad or iPhone without any kind of setup or integration at all we tried the setup so far and the two devices aren't connecting via Bluetooth and then the apps have to be updated anyway so it's not gonna be ready as beta 1 but that's the feature I'm most excited for is to have that continuity going and it also kinda of ties into iCloud Drive so you see right here you will be able to drag folders or files right into here and then that will be available on iCloud across all your devices and taking it a step further you're gonna have third-party app integration as well so it kinda of works like Dropbox and it's built right into the finder window and then finally for the continuity your messages as well as your FaceTime calls can now be drawn from your phone so it includes SMS text messages as well as straight phone calls for FaceTime audio right on your device as long as your phone is pretty much in proximity to your Mac. So I think that's pretty much it for OS X Yosemite. It's mainly about the continuity which isn't available yet as well as the new design 
which you can obviously see pretty easily and cleanly. So we hope you enjoyed our Apple and Apps in Action video. Be sure to check out our same video of iOS 8, and we'll talk to you next time.